Manchester United submit a 50 million euro bid for Andre Onana, the Inter Milan goalkeeper, and also Ramos Hoysland as well. Could Manchester United submit a bid later on? Some say it may depend on the takeover. Some say that they might just do it just after Andre Onana, or it depends on the player's sell. But guys, in this video, I'm here to talk to you about this situation right now, Andre Onana and Hoistland. Make sure you subscribe to Red United TV and also follow Red United TV on Instagram. We are approaching 17,000 followers on Instagram and make sure you follow Red United TV on Twitter and also Twitch. But straight away, guys, I'm here to give you the news for you Manchester United fans and you football lovers. Andre Onana, Manchester United have submitted a bid, 50 million euros bid, of course, equivalent to 42 million pounds, including add-ons as well. As you know, Manchester United, Manchester United like a good old add-on, you know, just nothing good, but just a good old add-on just to sweeten the deal. Of course, guys, we got our guy, the man himself, the transfer guru, Fabrizio Romano himself, tweeting earlier on, exclusive Manchester United have improved their bid for Andre Onana. It's now worth 50 million euros add-ons, including around 45 million euros plus 5 million euros add-ons. Inter always asks for a 60 million package, but sources believe that 55 million euros could be the right number to take to make it happen of course you know everyone just takes us for dickhead so they try to give us a dickhead tax but Manchester United has, have made some changes upstairs bringing on a better recruitment guy as well to handle all the negotiations and etc with of course our guy John Myrtle going there going steady and think and staying firm and saying you know what we're not having it this season you guys think we're desperate we're going to play hardball we ain't going to be taken for dickheads. And, of course, they haven't. You saw that with Mason Mount. You know, they said, you know what? The third bit that we did, you go and take it. And Chelsea did take that. But, of course, it is interesting to see. And you see it there again. Fabrizio Romano tweeting later on. Manchester United have agreed personal terms with Andre Onana on long-term deal. Do you know what, guys? Praise the heavens if we are signing a new goalkeeper because I've been saying for a very long time we need a new goalkeeper. David De Gea is not cutting it. And what does this mean for David De Gea? Because, of course, guys, with Manchester United going for Andre Onana, it means that David De Gea, the, as a free agent right now, Manchester United might not look into re-signing him. It, there have been reports that Manchester United might re-sign him depending on what goes on with the finance of Manchester United because this it's reported that we only have 120 million pound for transfer kitty, but you just never know. And as we continue regarding the Onana story, looking at the Daily Mail, you have it here. This article: Manchester United table new 43 million offer for Inter Milan goalkeeper Andre Onana, with optimism growing, guys. Optimism growing that they can get Eric Ten Hag as number one target to replace. David De Gea, and again, as I said earlier on, David De Gea's future is uncertain. He's free agent. He can talk to anyone he wants, but reports have said that Manchester United themselves said, hold on, David, before you leave us like that, just hold on. Think, to hold on every transfer negotiations in terms of contracts with other clubs. Just, just take a rest. We'll sort something out if things materialize. We'll see what happens. But just don't talk to anyone. Just don't talk to no one. Please don't do that. Don't do it. And of course, would David De Gea listen to himself? Hell no, I wouldn't. Again, continuing on with this article, Anana has emerged as United's top goalkeeper target in the summer window, but they have come back to negotiation tables after their initial bid fell short. Manchester United have upped their offer, of course, because it was rejected earlier on, for Inter Milan's goalkeeper Andre Anana to just under £43 million after their first pro proposal worth up to 38.5 million was not enough for Inter, United have returned with an improved bid for the manager's Eric Ten Hag number one target. Latest approach is an initial 38.5 million, just over 4 million on add-ons. Inter has been holding out for around 45 million pounds. And, th and though Man United have not reached that mark, there is growing optimism that a deal will be reached 
between the two clubs. Let's just wait for it, guys. Let's wait to see. Watch the space and see if it materialized and come out and, and it becomes breaking news that they've reached an agreement. It would enable the Cameroon stopper to move to Old Trafford and be reunited with his former Ajax manager, finalising Onana's personal terms is not expected to be a formality. And there you go, there, picture of Andre Onana and, of course, Manchester United's current goalkeeping situation. This means, what does this mean for David De Gea? We'll see what happens there, guys. With Andre Onana, I, I want to see if it really does materialise and it does happen. As of course, guys, if you are watching, make sure you subscribe to Ready Night TV. But I want to see it, if the, it materialised. Andre Nana did, sh did show himself for the Champions League final and has been a good keeper for Inter. And again, Eric Ten Hag knows him and we need a goalkeeper that can play out from the back, guys. You guys let me know what your thoughts on regarding Andre Nana. And of course, we're moving on from Andre Nana. News about Rosmus Hoisland transfer update. Does it mean that Manchester United could be bidding for Hoisland? We'll find out later on after the Andre Onana situation gets resolved, guys. And this is coming from Stretty News. Manchester United prepare fifty million pound bid for the Danish striker sensation Ramos Rasmus Hoisland, the guy who plays for Atlanta. Manchester United need to sign a goalkeeper this summer. We've got, of course, you know that we don't have no striker. Marshall gets injured, guys. He gets injured from just getting off the bed in the morning and be pulling up a fire and going, ah, oh, babes. In situation, he just gets injured in the showers as well. Having a shower, oh, oh, pull the muscle. That guy. But of course, with no striker, we're not all leaving us. Vegas is not going to be returning. He's gone. Manchester United have been eyeing up a potential striker. Okay, in the situation is mad and it's peak, guys. You know that it's true. Will we get him? We don't know. But we're back to Hoysland. But Hoysland is still a very young prospect, as this article says. That doesn't change the fact that he's probably the best option we have in the market this summer. Eric Turner <laughs> has to work with a restricted transfer budget because of financial fair play considering consideration. But United believe that they can deliver Hoistland this summer. According to the Telegraph guys, the is Telegraph are saying that United will bid to make young Atlanta forward Hoistland the new first choice striker and believe they can get him for fifty million pounds. Of course, they they were quoting around eighty million, taking us for dickheads with the dickheads tax going on again. But this ain't gonna happen. Not anymore. Manchester United will not be having this kind of behavior towards us because, of course, we're desperate to improve our squad. But we're not we're not that desperate to be taken for dickheads. We're gonna walk away from deals. We're not gonna have it anymore. And that's what I want to see from Big Bad Manchester United. Not having it, not being taken for dickheads, nothing being asked for in terms of dickhead tax, adding the 20 million one pound more when the player is worth 50 million. We're not gonna be doing that. We're not gonna have that. And I like that, guys. Anyway, guys, you guys let me know regarding Hoist line as well. What are your thoughts on uh, on it? Because I think from what I've seen. He's a good prospect, but we need a certified banger. I've always believed that we need someone that's really like an Osherman or Harry Kane. But again, that just depends on the takeover. And the takeover is stalling us, guys, and I'm just pissed off about this. And I know you guys are pissed off because all of you guys are saying, you know what, Average Price? Not, I don't give a damn. I don't care. I don't care about all of this. All I care about is if Qatar is coming. Nobody cares. We just want to know about the takeover. Hurry up. But guys, this has been your latest Manchester United news. Make sure you subscribe to Red United TV on YouTube. Follow, join the community, guys, and get your latest news regarding Manchester United. And of course, follow Red United TV on Instagram and Twitter as well. I've run on the school spice. That's personally me. And follow Red United TV on Twitch as well. But as always, guys, as I said before, let me know all your thoughts are in the comments. Let me know your thoughts regarding Onana. Is, is David here career is done? Let me know in the comments as well. And Hoistland, what's your thoughts? Do you want this to happen as well? Until next time, guys, as I always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united. Your boy, Ivor and Spice, is out. Peace!